curlers from all over the world here in Roseville for the annual curling tournament tradition. I didn't know this existed, but of course Mike Tissell oh, knew yeah. that it existed. Mike, you're on the ice at Skate Town Ice Arena and you have the best assignment for the day as we have determined here in studio. Yeah, and I actually thought I was out thinking the rest of uh, my uh, fellow peers here at KCRA3 when I uh, wanted to pitch this event because usually the organizer says she entices people to come out here because it's a way to get out of the triple digit heat for the Labor Day weekend. Instead, well, we're inside on the frozen ice with it just as cool outside. Well, maybe not just as cool, but it is definitely cooler on this Friday morning. What this is, is the Wine Country curling clubs crush 2023 curling tournament that's a lot of words for me to get out this morning it's a three-day event which by the way free to you to come out and watch as you mentioned it has attracted some curlers from as far away as places like india canada even north carolina but perhaps you know just as big as the tournament competition is what happens after the competition which is really what makes curling such a popular and social sport. It's something called broom stacking. Listen. Broom stacking is the event that takes place after the game. We are very good at our club at doing that, but it's where the winners buy the losers the first round of drinks. And it doesn't have to be alcoholic drinks. It can be regular drinks or hot chocolate, which is what I prefer. And then the second round, the losers buy the winners the second round. And so it's just a way for people to come together. They talk about their game. They talk about how they missed that shot in eight or how they made that you know double takeout in four. And it's just a way for all of us to come together and just hang out. And full disclosure uh, about the uh, broom stacking and the social aspect of curling, it was my neighbors, Eric and Amy, who got addicted to this after trying it out. And in fact, the organizer said when it's an Olympic year, they teach some 1,000 newcomers a year about this sport. And you can try it out. They're out here on Tuesday nights and Sunday mornings. And yeah, they welcome newcomers. But as far as this weekend's concerned, if you're looking for something to do this Labor Day weekend, well, Skate Town Ice Arena is the place to be. Uh, the competition already underway all day today, all day tomorrow, and then the finals culminate Sunday at 1 p.m. And they expect as many as 250 spectators to come and watch this sport that's growing in popularity. And just in case you don't think these are athletes who are creative behind me, some of the names I love. We've got teams like Giggle Gaggle and the wine coolers already on the ice and yet to come later today. Endless curl abilities. So yeah, I think you can uh, kind of get a sense that this sport is as much about fun as it is competition. Live inside a very chilly Skate Town Ice Arena, Mike Tissell, KCRA 3 News. Anyone want to bring me a hot chocolate? Hey, that sounds good. You sure, get we'll get swept right up in all that fun there, Mike. Probably. A little sweep joke? No? Yeah. Melanie with the dad jokes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was, I, there were crickets on that one. <laughs> this thing is, is this thing on? You'll be playing all week. <laughs> Yay, that's right. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it.